Hey, it's the God Gameplay. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solo a couple of Nir. I found a good spot with quite a few of them, and there was a loot drop here as well. So I'm gonna solo them, and I'm gonna take a loot drop. So I'm gonna show you how to exactly do this. Don't worry, I'm am going to test out the ballista, but this is just for science to see how much damage it does. But we are going to do it without as well so that you can see how you can do it without the ballista now the ballista doesn't do a lot of damage so it's really not worth it shooting them with the ballista so you might as well just solo them with a bone axe i think that that is what i am going to use so let's see if i can solo a couple of them so that you can also do it when you are doing some loot runs i like to call them loot runs so here is our first nerd. Let's see if we can get on his back. And we did land it. Here we go. The way, best way to do this is probably just land on their back and then keep hitting them from above. Do the overhead attack and you should be good to go. You can see the arrow is still inside of him. Or her, I'm not sure. But it didn't do that much damage. It did like 200. Maybe just 100 damage. Since I did hit it twice. Now this nerd can give you hide. This one gives me height. When you use the axe, you can get height, definitely. So there is the nerd. You can just farm them. They give you about 10 height that I have seen. It's quite easy to do, but you can't find them around these patches. You'll usually see these white patches in the desert, and they will be around here. The, the thing that you probably require to do this is a dinghy, since you do need to get onto their backs, and I don't think you can really jump onto them without a dinghy so that's the one requirement but a dinghy is part of the tutorial you should be able to make it by now when you enter a medium zone so you should be good to go now i'm gonna get this chest it's quite easy to get as well i'm pretty sure you know by now but the nerd does help with these chests since they will give you hide and you need hide for ballistas that is one of the big requirements for doing these loot runs so it's kind of self-efficient since you are going to drive around anyway. You might as well get the Nair as well. Just be sure to not get off their back since they do do a lot of damage. So let's get this loot run and see how it goes. Should we go quite fast? All that you need to do is just like ram it into the station there. And it will break quite easily. You don't have to drag it all over the desert just to be able to break it just ram it into the structure and you should be good to go let's pull out the dart oh I didn't take the loot okay there's the shards we got quite a lot of shards let's go farm some more nerd just to give you an example on how to solo them uh, hopefully i mess up in this video so that you can see how much damage they really do like you won't get one shotted but they do do a lot of damage so maybe level a little bit of health so that you can be okay for my armor i just have like regular armor nothing special it's only my axe that's really a bit better but not even like all that you need to craft this axe is some bone fragments so only rare resources since the other things you can get quite easily i think it's rupu vine and some shafts i'm not sure but it's definitely the bone is the most expensive part of this axe is a one-handed axe so here's another nerd let's see if we can land on his back take him out hopefully we don't die you can die from these but they will probably leave you alone once you get down jump on his back overhead it overhead attack again they are quite beautiful though the, i like their design especially with those fins on the back it will just go in circles constantly so it's quite easily sometimes it will like hit against your dinghy that is probably the most scary part of farming the nerd is when they hit against your dinghy and you might be able to get knocked off when you get hit against your dinghy now let's put away our hide for in case we get freaking raided then we can save ourselves some headache because maybe they just take the chest and don't have fire arrows and raid our hole dinghy since i do have a base in here as well since you want to keep your stuff safe here's another nerd i think we're going to do a couple more 
just this one and another so let's see if we can get this near as well I do want to show you that you can get chitin from them or keratin I'm not sure how you say it but you do need to use the is it the the pickaxe I think it's a pickaxe once you farm them jump on it to his back they got like a lot of health I think like 800 or 700 so they are quite beefy but this method you're quite safe hopefully we don't fall off but you're quite safe doing this like this way since they just mess you see they just bumped into our dinghy there I don't think they do damage but it is quite frightening when they like boop it and there we go let's see if we can farm the chitin so this gives you chitin when you use the other farming tool so it's both chitin and like height that you can get from them I don't think you get anything else since they only give those resources put the chitin in there for safekeeping we got 9 at the moment there chitin is really good for armor I think but we'll take a look at what you can craft at, at the end just so that you can see how useful they really are now let's take a look if we can see another one somewhere here they do spawn randomly and there, there I think there's quite a lot here around here there's a Rupu more Rupus those Rupus are actually uh, nice they, like they're great for a solo player when you just want to farm some shafts and some Rupu pelts so they're quite good oh here's another Nur so let's take him out let's see how much damage he does I don't know if I'm gonna mess up but if I do we can take a look if we can take some damage see if we can jump on his back like I do try to take my time with them okay we're on his back let's see if we can finish this snare as well this will probably be the last snare and then we'll probably move on to see what we can craft with these snares so I did I did fall off there you can see it does quite a bit of damage let's try to heal oh. Shit. okay so I can't heal because I'm in combat I guess but I'd still have a lot of health left so let's try this again oh shit and oh, oh oof. try to get up okay so it, I think it like critically strike me there or something maybe it did a, like a different attack instead of biting it did a tail whip or something but I am able to heal so let's heal up and then we'll jump on the back again so it's not that difficult to, to kill them it's a bit dangerous if you don't have that much health but you can just jump onto your ship again it's really important to get that thing where you can just zip line up to your ship I guess or grapple onto your ship and just be on top of it again let's finish this nerd take it side so that we can move on looting just over it strike it some side strikes there sometimes like I mess up with the strikes since it's kind of difficult sometimes yeah I'm gonna show you exactly what you can actually make with the nair so there are a few things that you can actually make with the nair and the first thing is chitin chitin is mainly used for armor but not only armor you can also upgrade your ship with it so the most important thing is upgrading your ship you're going to see on the armor value here when you go to level 2 you will be able to upgrade your armor of your ship when you form the nerd. Another thing that you can do is also create some useful ammo. Now this is my favorite thing about the nerd farming them is because you can get this flint harpoons and they're great for looting chests. So this is definitely one of the reasons why I formed the nerd. You can also get some armor but I haven't unlocked it yet but we can definitely take a look. The armor is mostly chitin I think but you do need to be a bit of a more high level I know you can also need some height for this thing here the bottle but I think yes like chitin armor but you need to be really high level here is some more I think this one is really inexpensive for how much it is I mean it's pretty good so I would recommend you pick up this armor some bone glue some cattail it's not that bad really just go into the heartlands form some cattail and you should be good to go and bone glue just some 
free, free bones and some water and you're good to go. Plus this one you can upgrade it. Just some chitin and you're good to go. Since this is a really good piece of armor. I'm not sure about these though. Since you need to unlock them. But it's quite easy to farm in there. So you can definitely get some nice armor there. And for the axe that I used to actually heal the nerd, it's not really that good of an axe. I mean, it's just this one, some two, cost two bo bone fragments, some fiber weave, and some wood shaft. So it's quite easy to farm the nerd. Hope this video was helpful. This was just a quick gameplay slash guide video. If you like this video, then please give it a like. And if you want to see more guides from me, then you can subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.